AITA for suggesting my friend go back to therapy after how she reacted in a Chinese restaurant? So yesterday, me, 28F, Jess, 27F, and three other friends, mid to late 20SF, went to a Chinese restaurant. I'm Chinese, Jess is half Japanese slash Chinese and the rest of my friendship group are Asian, if that's relevant. For context, Jess unfortunately was victim to a verbal racist attack when COVID first started. It was such an awful thing to happen and I'm still mad it happened. The incident traumatized her quite badly and she went to therapy for a couple of years. We are getting seated and there is a Caucasian man with his son, maybe 6 to 8 years old. They smile at me and I smile back. Anyway, our food comes and the kid is curious and I can hear him asking his dad, what are those ladies eating? The dad happily explains to his son the different kinds of seafood, like pippies, and pork belly and noodle dishes we were eating. It was really clear that they weren't making fun of the food or us, and honestly I thought it was cute that the kid was interested. But Jess started getting agitated. I asked her what was up and she said she didn't like that they were talking about us. Me and my friend tried to just say they were just talking about the food we were eating. Unexpectedly, as Jess is quite shy, she stood up and said to the dad, this isn't a zoo, you know? Then she walked out and some of us followed her out and me and another friend apologized to the man and kid who were really shocked. Outside M, we were trying to console Jess. She was adamant that the man was teaching his kid to be racist, but we were all trying to tell her it wasn't like that, and she said we were invalidating her. This went back and forth with us trying to say that the man and kid weren't being racist. Finally, in my effort to try help, I suggested maybe Jess should go back to therapy. Jess gave me a really dirty look, called me a shit friend and left. A couple of my friends, although acknowledging that the way Jess reacted to the man and kid was abnormal, told me it wasn't my place to suggest that, but my other friend said that I wasn't wrong and as her friend who cares about her well-being, I had a right to suggest that. Jess and I have been friends since high school and I spent a great deal of time supporting her after the racist incident. Ida? Update and edit. Thanks everyone for your replies. For those asking what happened, essentially a group of men approached and surrounded her at a train station, shouting racist comments at her. If someone hadn't intervened, she would have very likely been bashed or essayed. For those saying I should drop her as a friend, we've had a friendship that's lasted nearly 15 years. I'm not going to give up on her because of an incident like this, and she honestly has never done anything like this before. She needs support and when the incident occurred I didn't know how to appropriately handle it. Thank you everyone for your advice about it being wrong timing. Upon reflection and talking with my friends, we realized that none of us saw the signs early enough during that dinner that she was in crisis. We should have seen it when she started getting agitated inside the restaurant and perhaps taken her outside for a moment instead of dismissing her. None of us are really equipped to deal with someone in mental crisis and we are considering going to mental health first aid. Finally, I tried to call and then message Jess and apologize but she did not reply. However, her mum did call me today. I did not message her mum and told me that Jess felt really bad about what happened and wanted to apologize to me and my friends. Jess also said she didn't mean what she said about me being a bad friend and she was having a panic attack at the time. Jess isn't feeling ready to talk to us yet and would rather her family support her for now until she's feeling better. In the meantime, we will be sending chocolates and self-care items.